Hello there everyone and welcome to this installation video. A lot of people keep asking me whenever I do a campaign to show them or do a tutorial of the mod I've just installed. So I should really be doing that from now on for all my new campaigns. And this one is for my Napoleonic Total War 3 Russia campaign. And I'm going to show you how I installed it. First off, we're going to make sure that we have a clean version of Napoleon. What I mean by that is make sure that we don't have residual mod files from previous mods we might have installed. So you cannot just go ahead and go through here and uninstall it via Steam because that's just going to uninstall the vanilla files. You need to actually go and find where you have your Napoleon in your Steam files. So you have to go through your PC, whatever, um, you know, if you have it on ECD, whatever volume you have it on, then through Steam, Steam Apps Common, then you find Napoleon and delete that, reinstall it, so you have a clean version. With that said, let's go ahead and take a look at what files we're going to be need. Be needing, I should say. So, first off, just Google Napoleon Total War 3 and you should it should direct you to ModDB where we will find most of the files we're going to need. As we go through here, the files we're going to need is, as there's quite a lot of them, it might be confusing, like, what do I actually need? What we need is the start of 8.7 and that's divided into four parts. So you need the first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one, and so on. Then, because I'm using a sub-mod that is currently not updated to the latest version, we're actually going to use two um, files here that are outdated, namely Napoleonic uh, 8.7 patch here for the campaign launcher and this 8.8 .8 campaign patch. These are both archived, but because I'm not using, going to use the latest version, we're actually going to need those files and then the 8.8 .8 version. So I'm not going to use the 8.9 or 8.91 because those are not supported by Brand Macborns. Napoleon Total War 8.8 .8, version 8.8 .8, single player campaign AI settings. It's for a more aggressive, aggressive behavior on factions, expansion, deadly armies and battles. So I definitely recommend this. I've used it before in a lot of my campaigns. I think I've only done one campaign in vanilla. Um, all the others I've done with Bran Macborn. And you'll find that on the Total War Center. And you can get this file right here. It's a very small file. Get that. And with all of that, we're now ready to start the install. So let's go over to our downloads and these are the files that you should have except these two screenshots here. Um, so you start off by running these four files. As you run this, this will install the other ones as well. And we'll start by clicking 8.7 core and then you redirect it. If, it, if you don't have it on C, as I don't, You'll have to redirect it, and so we go through E, we go through Steam, and then Steam Apps, and then Common. It already creates Napoleon Total War, so all you have to do is just click through here, and then start it. It will tell you, do you want to replace the Napoleon Total War file, and you want to do that, because you're installing over. I'm, I've already installed this, just like a cooking show. Cooking? Why did I say it like that? Just like a cooking show, I've already prepared a, a the mod and installed it. So I'm not going to do this. It's going to take a while because it's 5.5 gigs. So it might take you a while to download it and install it as well. Once that's done, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go in to your files. So we're actually going to open up two here. I'm going to have two. So you want to go back to your files, you Steam, wherever you have Steam in this case. I have it on E. 
Steam apps, common, and then Napoleon. Then you want to go into the data, or data, I should say. Napoleon Total War 3 and Launcher. Now in this case I've already done this, but you should have at this point an 8.7 launcher. However, this one is without these underscores. So you delete the one you have, which doesn't have underscores, and then you just bring in this one that you downloaded. So you bring that one in and just paste it here. And so it looks like this. At this point, we haven't installed 8.8, .8, but it should look like this. With that, it's time to install the 8.8 .8 patch. So we go ahead and do that. You start it up. It's the same as the 8.7, and it's installer. You go ahead and click to wherever you have your uh, Napoleon. So E, Steam. Steam apps, common, boom. You install it, that's all good. Once that's done, we go on to the patch, the 8.8 .8 patch, which is this file right here. Go ahead and open it, and you want to extract this one through wherever you have your Steam, so E in my case, then Steam, Steam apps, common, and then Napoleon, which we have down here. Now you don't want to just put it in the Napoleon folder. In this case, we're going to replace this file right here. So put it so it goes all, all the way to the data. And then you go ahead and replace it. With that done, we're almost complete. There's only one part left, and that is the submod, which is this file right here. This one, we have to dig quite deep to uh, find the location this is needed for. So once again, through E, through Steam, through Steam Apps, Common, and then once again into Napoleon, then into the data, then it's Napoleon Total War 3, or NWT3, then down here, version 87, Campaigns, Packs, Europe. And there you go. At this point, you should have the exact same version as I do when I play my campaign. Hopefully, this worked out and it is as I did it. And uh, yeah, this is the first time. And also, as uh, some might know from previous, that I am not that great in installing mods. But hopefully, this works out and this is the way that I have installed it so even if it is wonky this is the way it works for me and I've been able to test play a battle and some bit of campaign so it should work for you as well hopefully if you follow my steps with that uh, let's go ahead and end it right here so I'm not entirely sure I guess I'll post post this as the first video in the series, or possibly the second one, uh, right after the first campaign video. With that said, I hope you guys enjoy this, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!